The first 16 weeks in the life of your puppy are critical. This period is also called the critical developmental or the critical socialization period. What we do in this time literally has a life-defining impact, so it's highly important that we get it right. If we isolate our dogs until the balance of the vaccination period, which is often advised by vets, we run the risk of seriously causing irreversible consequences. The first 16 weeks require an approach that balances exposure to as many environments as possible with the need to maintain as low risk as possible to viruses or, or bugs. So each of us has different needs that our adult dogs will need to fulfill in order to fit into the environments that we want to share with it. So now's the time to actually do all the hard lifting. Whether we need to have our dog be able to travel safely on public transport and not be affected by noise, vibrations or movement, or perhaps be able to travel in cars with us both inside and outside on in the ute, for example, for both short and long distances or for some out there reason maybe you've got a complicated hobby that you want to have your dog share such as yachting or maybe traveling on bikes or just something that's a little bit outside the norm a puppy is literally a sponge and if exposed safely can adapt to just about everything so now's the time to actually do it of course it doesn't stop there so depending on where you live your puppy will also need to be able to deal with other things such as cafes busy streets traffic extensive people movement situations where all of these are combined into into one environment all of these are stressful but if we do the job correctly can be easily overcome through appropriate planning many puppies are intimidated by stairs and it's quite common so in many cases unfortunately it's often as a result of poor exposure to varied surfaces and effectively not teaching our puppy to use their rear feet. Now this sounds pretty far-fetched, but we, we have to expose our puppies early in life to lots of different surfaces, textures, gradients, so that they develop an ability to overcome any stress or uncertainty caused by that environment. And understanding how their back feet work is absolutely fundamental in this process. Now, it really isn't that difficult to achieve this. So while it must be done safely, if we try and get the puppies used to environmental textures in the context of fun and exploration with simple day-to-day -day activities, so stuff that you, your kids would normally be doing or we'd be normally doing with our puppies, they will gain confidence in just about every single interaction that we put them through. And they'll, in fact, look forward to every new situation that we place them. So it's all about starting with simple little tasks little textures, little inclines, little surfaces, just to get them a little bit more confident progressively daily and build on it progressively. Another concerning environmental situation revolves around water. There are so many puppies that I deal with on a day-to-day -day basis that are incredibly intimidated by water because they haven't been exposed to it at a very, very young age. So simple things like taking your puppy to the beach, especially one that hasn't got many waves, just getting the puppy used to a little bit of tidal movement, maybe taking it to a river so it hears the rushing sound of water over rocks and gradually getting the puppy used to it, or maybe taking the puppy to a lake so it actually deals with the static water area that hasn't got any movement in it. And what we're trying to do is to make water become a normal part of life so that things down the track like washing your puppy won't become a trauma and it becomes a lot easier in life. So just getting your puppy used to being in and around water on a day-to-day -day basis, even just watering your, your backyard, with some dogs can be, can be a trauma in itself. So the more we get the puppies used to water, the better life is for everybody. Last but not least is the subject of getting your puppies exposed to noise. Now there are so many elements of noise that will impact your puppies going through life. And sound hypersensitivity is definitely something that we don't want. So the earlier we get our puppies exposed to all sorts of noises that would otherwise create potentially traumatic responses, the better off your puppy will be as an adult. Now that includes things like fireworks, explosions, thunder, loud traffic, screeching brakes. So if you live in an area that's got a, a lot of traffic movement, taking your puppy out progressively when it's quiet and building up to louder times is important. But if you want to short circuit the system, there are a few things on the market that will help you. Now there's an app which is called Soundproof Puppy Training and it's available from the App Store. Now this app is absolutely fantastic. It was designed by dog trainer 
a behavioral um, psychologist and a sound engineer to actually achieve an app that produces just about all the noises that your puppy will need to familiarize itself with as an adult and it hits the right frequencies and with noises and puppies it's all about frequency so if you do a google search for soundproof puppy training it has effectively families of different noises that you'll find useful to get your puppies exposed to just about every sound because noises are incredibly important and we need to effectively have your puppy noise neutral to be the best that it possibly can be So I hope this video made sense. The approach that we need to follow in the first 16 weeks is to get your puppy out and about to as many different locations as possible to experience as many different stimuli as humanly possible. And that includes hot, cold, light, dark, windy, noisy, different surfaces, everything you possibly can to get your puppy as robust and as exposed as possible. We effectively only get one chance at this critical period of time. So we need to prioritize our efforts and I assure you, you will be rewarded for everything that you do. Thanks again.